this week we thought we'd look at a few flying games, but then we decided that wasn't exciting enough. So we thought, what the heck? This is Boys With Toys. Let's do it for real. Leonardo da Vinci drew the first sketch of a crude helicopter design as far back as the 1500s. But the first really successful helicopter flew in 1940. Ever since, we've been fascinated by them. But why do we love helicopters so much? Everyone's been on an airplane in some form or other, he was only just on holiday. And so they're used to flying in an airplane. And the sensation you get, but it's a totally different sensation. Visibility is, is excellent. Um, the ability to land anywhere. And true way to be transport, the ultimate form of flight. Ever. More exciting than a Lamborghini. Louder than a Ferrari. A helicopter is the perfect toy. It's the only form of flight that allows you to hover, spin round on the spot and land practically anywhere. Want to put the Bugatti driving pop stars to shame at the party? Just rock up in a chopper and plonk it on the lawn. Bam! Instant supermodel girlfriend. Your entrance will be that good. But like cars, there are helicopters. And then there are helicopters. This is an R66. It's new. Brand new. So new, they can't use it commercially in Britain yet. The R66 is basically a jet, a turbine-powered helicopter. It only went into full-scale production in the US during 2011. So, this aircraft is still a very rare sight in Europe, because it's not certified here yet. And it's still got the North American registration. It'll reach a speed of 140 knots, or just over 160 miles an hour. But, as with any vehicle, more power means higher costs. Because it will drink roughly one and a half litres of fuel every minute. Nevertheless, the idea of being able to fly one of these incredible machines is pretty appealing. So, how hard is it to learn? The minimum hours requirement for the private pilot's licence is 45. And that's broken down into various different sort of stages, along with seven written exams, and that can take Again, depending on how much time you, you've been able to commit, uh, anywhere between, I've seen one guy do it in eight weeks, which is quite impressive, <laughs> um, and others it takes sort of up to a couple of years, um, six months to, to a year being about average. Before the break, we'd been looking at the different aircraft available at Heliflight in Gloucestershire. Now we were about to put a quarter of a million pound R44 through its paces, with one amazing twist. I'll be the pilot. As long as you can reach controls, you can fly one legally. You can log your time towards a license from the age of 14. You can fly, you actually fly solo, as in completely by yourself, in a helicopter at 16, which of course is younger than you can drive a car. Um, 17, you can gain your license privately, and 18, you can gain your commercial license. So helicopters are literally the biggest toys available to boys of all ages. Or girls, of course. Or dogs. Wait, what? Is it? <laughs> Is it your dog? I've, I've never heard that before. <laughs> Time to get in the air. Well, unsurprisingly, we're not taking the jet-powered R66. But we will be using the mid-range R44. It's a very popular aircraft. Chilean President Sebastian Panera owns one. Belgian Prince Felipe has flown a red R44 with the unique registration OOPFB. Top Gear star Richard Hammond reportedly owns one. And Jamiroquai singer JK has one with the registration GJK, which he pilots in the music video to White Knuckle Ride. So I'm in good company. And sitting in the cockpit makes you feel very special indeed. So it was time to get going. And what a rush! This is a different feeling. I was 
actually flying a helicopter. Vinland controls move us around the sky. The sense of freedom is unreal. I can't believe you can do this at the age of 14. So, are helicopters worth all the hype? Yeah. All those flight sim games you've played? Forget them. Just get up here and do it for real. But my lesson wasn't over yet because my instructor had other plans. Yes, yeah, so this is the cycling in the middle. This controls our speed and direction. Okay. This is the collective in the left hand. That's our up and down lever. So if I reduce, the, if I lower the lever, reduce the power, reduce the pitch, and uh, start a descent. He was going to get me to land this whirling monster. and then master take off as well. Okay, I had a little help, but I certainly got a feeling for the basics of a flight by the time we roared back to the hangar and flared the aircraft to a dramatic stop. to helicopters. They're fast, they're fun, and everyone tends to react in the same way when they first get behind the controls of one. It's always a matter of excitement, but it's whether or not it's laced with absolute terror or not. It tends to be <laughs> one of the two. No, one, no one's ever uninterested, ever. That's how we land without the engine. <laughs>